Every day that passes means we're one day closer to the reveal of a new Forerunner, but also we're closer to the availability of a new Land Cruiser here in the United States. But there's a trademark that just came out that is previewing for Toyota, potentially it's a trademark, so take it with a small grain of salt, but their trademarks have been a good indicator of future product lately. But anyways, this could be pointing Toyota into a whole new direction of off-road vehicles. Let's get into it. <laughs> We are over at LandCruiserForum.com and Toyota has filed a trademark in Japan for the name, drum roll, Land Hopper. Well, that's how you would say it in most parts of America. If you're in Boston, you might be saying Land Hopper. But if you're Austrian, you might be saying get to the land hopper. I know people are going to be saying this different around the world. Anyways, it seems like the new Land Cruiser, this is the, the original poster and, and discoverer of this. He says the new Land Cruiser related could be an early indication of a more off-road friendly version in the works, or at least there could be with the potential it has. What do you guys think? All right. So here is the land hopper. A land hopper. Could this be a new vehicle altogether or could it be a new trim level? It could be either. Let's go and click on this and see what we can find out here if we have any more description of this. Division of class 12 vehicles. All right, power machinery equipment for land vehicles, power transmission devices, braking devices, AC motors or DC motors, automobiles and their parts, motorcycles and bicycles and their parts and accessories. Now this site is pretty interesting because if you scroll down, they have a whole bunch of other Toyota trademarks. But one of the more interesting ones was BZ5C. BZ5C, well, let's look at what Simon Humphreys was talking about. We know BZ is their fully electric, beyond zero line of battery electric vehicles. Five is their largest and C is a new designation. It could mean car or coupe. I think it means coupe. So what? What? here's what I think. I think that this vehicle right here is the BZ5C. That's just my swing. And a guess, it could be a complete swing and a miss, but this is my guess for BZ5C. The BZ5X would be more of your traditional crossover, but who knows? I could be way off. Let me know what you think BZ5C would be. Do you think it would be a full-size electric coupe with two doors? I mean, I highly doubt it. My guess would be something like this with the X designated for the three row, and this would just be a two row potentially. Now, Land Hopper, let's get back to this vehicle because what could it mean? Well, we have this guy. This, I don't think will be called a Land Hopper. I'm still banking on a compact cruiser, light cruiser, or Land Cruiser Sport. I think it would do well with any of those names. Um, but Land Hopper just seems too cute and small. I think of a little grasshopper. And yeah, maybe maybe that applies to this because this vehicle is pretty small. It looks like a Bronco Sport sort of vehicle, which I'm reviewing this week. Stay tuned. It should be up Monday, Tuesday, uh, or somewhere around there. But I love how we have the tire on the back. Gotta love that old school twist. And that's something that the J250 does not have, which we all wish we had that option on the J250, at least from the factory. Now, what I think it is, is this little guy right here. This electric mobility device, they're showing it off-road, but I don't know how versatile it will be. I know we have a ton of ground clearance here, but the problem is I see no pedals, which means it's not gonna be an e-bike. It's more of like an electric scooter sort of thing. But what I don't like about it is how tall you are. I guess that's important for ground clearance. There's no other way to work around that. But I think this is a land hopper. I think it's gonna be at least a three wheel vehicle because it looks like we have two up front here. You could have two more in the back or just one in the rear. The problem I have with this thing, since they're showing it off-road, it has small wheels. These look like 16 inch wheels or something and tires. To, to have a better off-roading experience, the bigger the tire, typically the better. And these look like skinny-ish 16 inch wheels and tires here. So not don't know what to think about it, but I think Toyota needs to get their feet wet in the e-bike and e-mobility game. It's, too, it's really late for them, I think, as well as 
Honda, they both have the, the as well as Kawasaki, Suzuki, etc., Yamaha, they all should be getting their feet wet in this e-mobility market. They've been talking about it for years, but they haven't done a ding thing about it, really, at least not as a global presence. Now, I've been into e-bikes a lot lately in e-mobility, and I've been getting a lot here on the channel. It's been a ton of fun to review these bikes, put them together, see how they're all different. Um, their pros and cons, and I will go ahead and put in the description uh, and in the comments links to all the e-bikes so far I've tested on the channel, uh, as well as upcoming, because I, I have more coming, but I already have their uh, affiliate link. So if you want nice discounts as well as uh, e-bikes that I've tested here, go ahead and check that out in description. But that is what I think eHopper is. So I'll leave it there. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think eHopper is this guy? Do you think is this is the BZ5C? And do you, what do you think? Do you think this is the new 4Runner? And this is going to be a segue into 4Runner. One of my viewers on the channel, he uh, is a better renderer than I am with my ninth grade Photoshop skills. So I'm going to share... Uh, what he's come up with here. He's had a couple generations of 4Runners. He currently owns a 4Runner. Um, he has other vehicles as well. So he's definitely a car enthusiast. And what we have down below is his render. And he sent it over to me on Instagram. You know, if I had higher quality renders here, it would look better than what you see probably on mine up top. But this is the render I had a few weeks ago in the video I said, is Toyota killing the 4Runner, which they absolutely are not. It's a cash cow. He's taken it uh, a step further and has put in some really good ideas here. So we have this more iconic forerunner C pillar here that angles forward and that pulls on the memory and heartstrings of I think it's the fourth generation forerunner. He's also put on a roof rack on the top. I think he has a couple different roof racks here. Yeah, depending on you know your flavor. But he's taken a step further and he his idea is that it should have a removable top to some degree. Now, I think this is extremely unlikely uh, for the Forerunner to have this sort of removable top, but all I did was put the normal top back on and check this out. This kind of reminds us guys of like the Chevy Avalanche, which a lot of people really have really strong emotions towards that vehicle. That could be kind of what the Forerunner could be if they decide to have a removable rear section. How amazing would that be, ladies and gentlemen, to have this rear section removable. You could use this area more like an open bed and kind of similar, kind of similar to what we have um, with the Hyundai Santa Cruz, except this is true body on frame. So we're talking about a different variant here of the Tacoma with a much shorter bed and a removable top. And if that, if Toyota does that, not only does it, you know, get some people get their wheels turning against the Bronco as well as the Wrangler, but we bring into the market a Toyota that we haven't seen the likes of in a long time. Maybe like the RAV4 convertible might be something that's somewhat similar. And I'm sure there's other, some small batch vehicles probably made in Japan uh, and this is, could be kind of like our 70 series Land Cruiser in some ways. So if Toyota does this, they will blow everyone's minds. Like, I honestly think this render would be enough to just be Toyota, be conservative, do what they're really good at and have an amazing forerunner. Like, like if it came out like this, I think most people would be happy. I know I'm pretty proud of the render, but I really didn't do much. I just kind of copy and pasted what they already had given us and the beautiful Tacoma that they've designed. But they go one step further and make their own version of the the Avalanche, essentially. Didn't they make an, they made an Escalade version of this too, which don't ever think Lexus will get their feet wet with a body on frame truck or anything, but people have asked about it. So I'll leave it in your guys' field about this sort of forerunner with a removable rear section. Do you think Toyota should do this? Do you just want the traditional forerunner? But the thing is, if they bring out the traditional forerunner as we know it, it is so similar to the Land Cruiser that we are got that we are getting the J250. So I could talk about this and get hyped about it so much if it came to the market like this. Yes, I know some of you guys would want the T-tops, a removable roof over the uh, driver or passenger. I think that would be excellent. And maybe they could take it one step further and remove this section, but leave in the front section. 
I don't know, but I really like where Eric's head is, who shared these uh, renders with us. He's got some really good ideas, putting a little old school uh, fourth gen flair in there and giving us a potential removable top, which I think people would lose their freaking minds over. Anyways, I got to cut it off there. I'm really excited, not only for the land hopper, whatever it will be, but for the next forerunner and whatever that BZ5C vehicle is as well. So lots of cool stuff coming from Toyota. Make sure you are subscribed. You don't want to miss any of the updates here on the channel. Thank you for watching and make sure to check out the links down below for some of those uh, electric mobility solutions. The e-bikes that I've been testing out on the channel has been a lot of fun. Make sure to watch those videos and it helps me out a little bit. If you guys use that affiliate link, I get a little bit of kickback, uh, which pays for the groceries essentially. So thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Smash the heck out of the like button for the forerunner, whatever the, the land hopper is. Take care and peace out.